The influencer who refuses to shower has returned and is rotting more than ever. Not only did he completely vanish, but he's come back with an infected foot. So be prepared, folks. It's about to get filthy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. As I mentioned, the pheromone maxa known as the fluff dumpster is back after disappearing for an entire month. And the reason was is because... His live stream received a strike for sexual content. Yeah, the man was trying to get the ladies to cream themselves. The walking cheese factory is playing hard to get. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the eyes of the government, this man is completely unemployed, but as far as he's concerned, his job is to edge women on the daily. I mean, at this point, I don't even know what the hell is going on. Where's my women then? Hey ladies, ready for a makeout sesh? Not so quick. I have seen some of you already, and I know that I'm irresistible with my pheromone maxing. Oh, bloody hell, buddy. Leave some for the rest of us. Oh, all the women want him. As much as I like to poke fun about it, it's somehow true. He has a line of women in his DMs just waiting to sniff his armpits. Let's, let's just show all the girls in my DMs that I'm already having to put up with. So I got all these ladies that you have to compete with already. Okay, and the list it just keeps going and going and going. Now if you haven't been a part of this pheromone maxing journey on my channel, not to worry, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown real quick. I just wanna say, in this video, we're gonna be looking at some really crazy stuff, alright? Like first things first, his foot seems to have this wild infection that probably came from an ingrown toenail. And you're probably thinking, ah, it's probably just a little infection on his toe. No, his whole foot is literally rotting, guys. He also spoke about and demonstrated his new journey that he started, which is apparently a radiation maxing. Yeah, I think he is assumes that he's going to transform into some sort of Hulk, but in reality, he's just going to end up looking like a Nurgle. And guys, if you thought he wasn't sick enough, get this right. L l listen, the guy... <laughs> he's now apparently consuming and eating his peeling skin. <laughs> Somehow this man has a line of women. I don't understand. The bro is barely a functioning human being at this point. Would you eat a piece of your own skin like the piece of your calf or someone else's? He's eaten his- so when he gets I'm, sunburns, he does eat that. I don't know if that counts, but he eats his sunburn peeling. Well, I don't go outside anymore, Mom, so... No. You know, that doesn't happen. He hasn't and, been for a while, but you did. You went yeah. for a phase. What? what? <laughs> what? So, sorry, what? He went through a phase of eating his peeling sunburned skin? Oh, I'm so burned after being outside in the sun. My skin is peeling. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you like it when I rip into my flesh, ladies? Oh, oh, oh. Like a word of advice for all you ladies at home, never date a man who claims that he eats his own peeling skin. I just want you to be safe, alright? Please, just look after yourselves. There's really alarming strange people out there. And then his mum claims that he doesn't go outside anymore, so what does he do then? Just burrow into some sort of crevice in his room? But anyway, that's just this little taster of what we got going on today, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't heard of the fluff dumpster before, you're in for a treat, baby. The man claims that he's pheromone maxing, which basically means he is exempt from showering. Like he's afraid of water, and that's not a lie, because there is a clear player where he literally shows genuine fear for water. <laughs> and pheromones, if you don't know, by the way, are more common in animals such as dogs and wolves. And pheromones is what animals use to communicate with each other because, you know, they can't speak. So I'm not sure why this guy is interested in pheromone maxing. I mean, it's a lifestyle at this point. He's literally chosen his path. And his path is just him generating an infinite amount of grease. Like, he's the first person to figure out the unlimited cheese glitch. And it's been about a hundred days since he last showered, so you can imagine what filth has building up down there. Uh, yeah, imagine all that smeg. Yeah, Jerry, I, I didn't want to say it, pal. I, I just didn't want to. Thanks. Anyway. And it got to the point as well where he had like living fungi on his tongue. And you guys that have already seen my videos, I know how much you hate the clip of his tongue. I, I, I am aware. I've seen the comments. You, you hate it. All right. Put your food down, all right? It's not the time to eat. I believe what he had was something called mouth thrush, which I wasn't aware was a thing, to be honest with you. You know, I was aware about the, you know, the thrush you can get down there, but I wasn't aware of this. I think it's getting worse. I didn't brush my teeth yesterday, as one of you suggested. I don't think I would have anyways, but... I think it's falling apart even more. You can actually tell it's peeling back. That's what the big, that's what the big piece is. That. 
so I don't know I'll try to keep you guys informed I won't go to a doctor unless it like starts to hurt really like more than it does anyways peace Good night. oh god if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is how The Walking Dead starts. Like, you're looking at the origin of the zombie virus right there. <laughs> and that's why I ask myself, how is it possible that this man has women lining up for him? His breath probably smells like an ass crack. And the whole zombie virus Walking Dead situation he's got going on in his mouth leads perfectly onto my next point. The guy wants to bite women. <laughs> Please help. Moon system slowly shutting down. Our families aren't safe anymore. Our children are no longer safe. One bite from this man, prepare to mutate. Is it harassment if you... towards women? No. Um, so take a bite. For you ladies. I only bite for you ladies. And femme cells and furs. Okay, people. And what the hell's that mean? I only bite for you, ladies. Oh, shit. What's up, ladies? Be prepared to be mauled by the pheromone maxer. <sighs> what have you done? Yes, the mutation process has begun. Huh? <laughs> Shit, Jerry, I'm sorry. I'd never hurt you, Jerry. I'd, I'd never hurt you. I mean, just look at him. He's absolutely feral. Step back, demon spawn. I'd love to see Call of Duty Zombies add this man as one of the miniature boss battles. Like, instead of the warden from Mob of the Dead that chases you around the map, it's... <laughs> It's this guy. <laughs> and once again, speaking of the Z virus, clearly his first victim was his dad. Because the bloke is an empty shell of a human being. Don't mind the dog. Hey. Ready, everybody, say hi to Isaac's dad. Oh my days, just look at him. There's barely any humanity left. The father is just slowly withering away while sitting in the smell of his son's ass crack. Hey, I'm slowly becoming alive again. <laughs> Don't ask me what this Pheromone Max's goal is, all right? He's just Pheromone Max and it. it's plain and simple. He does not want to shower. He does not want to wash. He wants to sit in his own filth and smell like shit. And this is what people think about the old situation. This comment is specifically from the dad TikTok. This has got to be Resident Evil 9 promo. Yeah, honestly, I could totally see it. Resident Evil 7, you had that creepy house with those creepy people and Resident Evil 9 is set here. And the Pheromone Maxer is the final boss. His basic attack is biting and sinking his claws into you and his special move is just squirting cheese at you. <laughs> Imagine! <laughs> oh, dead. I mean, how can you not say this guy doesn't have a transformation process when the dude doesn't even wipe his ass? Yeah, and it's funny, ladies and gentlemen, because you might think I'm joking, but I'm not joking. I'm being very serious about that. <laughs> like my, you know, asshole. Um, <laughs> it was very delicate because it had not been wiped and there was like a layer protecting it. I do not wipe anymore. I did use those dude wipes, but they claw. <laughs> it's not funny, my mom tells me. It it's not funny. The washing machine's broken because he was, he wasn't scared. He was insecure. He was insecure, so he didn't want to flush the wipes because he didn't want anybody to see them if they didn't go down. Don't even get me started about him sh in the trash can so people didn't hear the plop. Dude looks humiliated right now. My guy over there smelling like an ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, can we just have like a really unnecessary conversation about wiping our ass for a sec? And surely if you don't do that, something bad's gonna happen to you. I mean, surely. You'll probably have like a rash, a disease will start up. Like surely wherever you go, you'll just have this big brown cloud following you of just sh smell. Not to mention your underwear will just be ruined. You'll have to buy underwear all the time, although I don't think this guy does buy underwear. I think he wears the same boxers like all the time. You know, I am going to attempt to try and put myself in his shoes. Hopefully I don't die in the process. But if I'm not wiping my ass, I'm assuming in his mind, he believes that these pheromones now are going to dry up. Are going to... Dr <sighs> They're going to solidify. <laughs> And if I was him and I was Pheromone Maxin, I wouldn't want to change my boxer shorts because I would believe that my boxer shorts are radiating a certain aroma. 
that women just cream over. And then all the women's eyes will be drawn to me. Women didn't used to notice me before. But now that I've been pheromone maxing, everybody notices me. But anyway, this next TikTok we're gonna look at is completely wild. Guess who's back? Back again. Fluff is back. Tell a friend. Hashtag summer vibes. <laughs> and yes, ladies, I'm over 18. But regardless, anyway, this TikTok is about his burnt ass foot, which I'm not sure if it's burnt or if it's infected, but we're about to find out because he's going to explain to us. Let's see what magnificent shit we're in for today. Oh, hang on. Participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. That's the disclaimer I got while clicking on this video. What the f*** does he do in this TikTok? I have been pheromone maxing my feet smell for a little while now, okay? And my mother, she smelled it and she went into my room. She said that something died in here. It wasn't rotten food this time, it was my foot. And I explained that to her, but she still took me to the hospital. I'm not pleased about it. When the doctor got on to me and her, um, she took away my iPad, so I wasn't able to make a video. But, you know, I am doing better on my foot. The discoloration is going away, not that I worry about it too much. Not that I worry too much. <laughs> Bro, your foot looks like it's been cremated. Out of the whole room, the thing that is stinking up the room is this guy's foot. <laughs> How can your foot smell that bad that your mum thinks something has died in here? Holy shit! Bro, get in trench foot in 2024. <laughs> that is hilarious. Is this gout? Inflammatory arthritis. Yeah, bro, it's probably because you haven't showered, man. The fungi is just slowly seeping into your pores and now just infecting your body. My guy's foot is infected with scarlet rot. <laughs> and I wore this sock for about a month. Ne well, nearly a month. And... <laughs> yeah. It is... It is pretty good. It is very strong. Um, that is, that is a splash that I like to take. And... Yeah, I'm still waiting for this foot to hatch. What a, what a wild sentence to say. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the other foot to hatch. It's not decaying as much as I hoped it would. <laughs> like, is he purposely trying to get the other foot to look like that one? I mean, he's literally resting there on the laminate floor looking like Hellboy's turd. And this is the point where I become seriously worried for this guy's health. He's either being satire or he's not. We still haven't decided yet. And more and more I watch his TikToks, the more and more I think he's being serious. Although there are times where I do see him break character. You know, this foot very well could have just been left in like some tomato ketchup or some like beet juice or something to let it dry and make it look like it's infected. I think, I think um, there are a lot of overreactors and haters out there in the world and I just want to say that despite what you see, despite all the people who may try to make a lol cow of you, you need to stay strong and be who you want to be. Good night, everyone. Wow, yeah, some wise advice there from the man who literally smells like rotting flesh. You're my opinion, I do think it's satire, and I actually really like the guy. Like, I've said this several times though in all my videos, I like this guy, I think he's hilarious, personally. Although the whole satire thing, I might be wrong, because uh, other people's opinions are now changing also. I've genuinely thought this account was satire this whole time. Until now, we got the living dead before GTA 6. Holy shit, it's all been real. <laughs> the sudden realization that all this, this whole time, the tongue, the biting at women, the literal shit in trash cans, it's... It's all been real. But yeah, regardless with that foot concern, perhaps he just re-entered that phase again of peeling his skin and eating it. And in this next weird TikTok, he talks about reverse burgling his grandmother. What the f*** does that mean? Obviously, burgling is stealing something. So would the reverse of that be giving something? Ah, oh, that's nice. Maybe he gave something to his grandmother. Let's let's check out the TikTok. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Hashtag story time. Cops involved and family is slightly mad at me. When I originally started reverse burglarizing my great-grandmother, I... I didn't know the consequences of those actions. I... It was like my summer project with Tammy, who is, I consider, my best friend. Um, we would pick up furniture with her truck, and also little knickknacks, and sometimes even trash. And the goal was to make her house look like a hoarder's house, and to convince her that she had Alzheimer's. <laughs> this guy is a menace. 
This dude is a super villain. Yo, he literally used to pick up trash and furniture and move it into his great grandmother's house and convince her that she had Alzheimer's and that she was hoarding. Honestly, I am very confident that I can call this guy a super villain. I mean, who does that? Oh, I mean, that poor woman. There's nothing quite like gaslighting your own great grandmother, you know what I mean? Convince her she had Alzheimer's. Um, it started small as a lot of my shenanigans do. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, only only this guy would say <laughs> my shenanigans. <laughs> but he also says it so subtly as well, like, oh, it started small as my usual shenanigans do. <laughs> oh, like Pheromone Maxin, not wiping your ass. I convinced your great grandmother that she's got dementia. Um, with maybe a toaster or a chair, but eventually um, we saw an opportunity at the landfill and eventually we started to bring in an extra dining room set. I mean he is just a menace of society isn't he? Moving a full dining room set into your grandmother's house, an extra toaster, a couple of kettles, I mean his poor great grandmother honestly, she must have been going insane. Oh what's, what's all this new stuff around me? I didn't put that picture there. The, the dining room set. Where did that come from? <laughs> you put that there, Grandma. You've got dementia. <laughs> no, 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 no. I couldn't have. I, I couldn't have bought three toasters, Isaac. I couldn't have. <laughs> Silly Grandma. You have stage four Alzheimer's. No, no, Isaac. I, I, I don't. I don't think I do, Isaac. <laughs> you gotta face the facts, Grandma. You're going senile. <laughs> I mean, the guy is just pure evil at this point. An extra dining room set. We eventually brought in an extra dining room set over the course of a week. <laughs> and an extra toaster. And eventually, we put a sofa on her bed and we told her that she had Alzheimer's, that it was always like this, and that she was a bad interior decorator since her husband's been gone for a long time. And she believed it um, only a few, only a month and a half into our project. And you put a sofa on her bed and convinced it that it was always like this. Imagine having a life project literally dedicated to making your grandmother think she's got dementia. <laughs> this guy wants to destroy civilization. It's it's very clear to me now what his goals are. But anyway, after that absolute insanity, let's take a look at some of his live stream clips. But I do want to say quickly, subscribe to the channel, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, because we're trying to reach 150k by the end of September. We can 100% do it if we all band together, baby. So thank you to those who do subscribe. Make sure to turn on those bell notifications also, and let's get into it. So in this part of the live stream, ladies and gentlemen, he decided to show everybody that he does indeed have a working shower. And I guess that was just to prove a point that, you know, it is his choice. He has taken it upon himself and made it his own choice not to bathe anymore. <laughs> not the best idea. So the shower does work. I'm kind of too scared to turn it off. things I do for you guys. Um, I, I just need to turn off this shower real quick. I can't reach it. In all my years of life, I have never seen somebody this fearful of water before. I mean, the man is literally having a miniature panic attack about turning off the shower. And when he leans in to turn it off, he quickly pulls back and says, oh, oh my God, I thought I was gonna get hit for a second there. Oh, that was a close call. Oh yeah, because God forbid, ladies and gentlemen, that the very harmful and dangerous substance known as H2O comes in contact with his flesh. And in fact, he was so afraid, ladies and gentlemen, that he actually had to go and get his mother to turn off the shower because he was so afraid of being hit by water. I think I need to get my mom to turn off the shower for me. Hey mom. Can you turn off the shower for me? Yeah, I don't want to. Not waste water. Yeah. I turn. I I wanted to show them that you do actually have. Okay, well that. I want to show that you did actually have a working shower. Yeah, of 
Um, do I look like I don't shower? I mean, is a couple of drops of water really gonna harm your pheromones? I'm sure at this point you probably have some sort of shield of filth anyway. Now, water is just his weakness. Even a molecule would one-shot him. But I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that he's trying to improve his strength and increase his invincibility by something known as radiation max. Which I don't know if I can really say that with a straight face because the level of insanity that comes with that sentence is mind melting. So let me break it down for you. He's on his live stream. Everything's going well. He's talking about how to pheromone max and then he pricks out these f***ing bowls and plates. He sits there and he goes, yeah, guys, I'm, uh, you know, I'm radiation maxing right now. Let me uh, get this uh, radiation detector and stick it next to my plate and show you how much radiation I'm consuming. Does that sound real to you? Does that sound like a real thing? No, it doesn't, does it? It doesn't sound real. Well, unfortunately, yeah, it, it is because we've got proof right here. It's apparently have like radioactive stuff in them. Yeah, so, so what I do basically is I eat food off of the radioactive plate and it gives me radiation maxing. So you know how like all those mutants in like, uh, like, like, uh, <laughs> like, um, Fallout? You know how they're all like big and bull and strong? Well, they're also probably stinky too. Radiation maxing helps me um, actually obtain that physique. God, I, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even know how we can take it seriously at that point. Yeah, eating from a radioactive plate helps me obtain that physique. What, the physique of a death claw? When, yeah, when he's talking about the creatures from Fallout, he's talking about like death claws and stuff. Because in that game, there's a lot of radiation and uh, these monsters live in the radiation. I am very worried for this man's future and the path he's heading down because it seems rather dark and lonely. <laughs> like, does this guy think of something that radiation poisoning is going to make him strong? <laughs> Radiation poisoning, ladies and gentlemen, will help you achieve a muscular physique the same way eating carrots make you see in the dark. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but yeah, there are micro scratches on it, and and the radiation is supposed to help with my pheromones. I heard that on uh, 8chan, I think. Oh, we got the advice off 8chan. Oh, I mean, then it must be real then. Because we all know, ladies and gentlemen, the best place to get any sort of life advice whatsoever is on a website with user-created message boards. I mean, look at those numbers on there as well. I'm pretty sure that radiation is enough to kill you. And that's what I continue to ask myself. How isn't this man dead yet? How is he still standing? He's talking about that apparently if you do radiation max and it helps with his pheromones and also uh, you'll be like the Incredible Hulk. What, does this guy think he's Bruce Banner or something? And sometimes I like to kid myself, but then also other times I think to myself, is this guy really, like, building up to, like, taking over the world or something with his pheromones? Because the way he communicates through his actions gives me a genuine fear for the safety of my life. But anyway, regardless, ladies and gentlemen, of him and his actions and the things he says, let's take a look at the house he lives in. Now, he did talk about how he had some sort of infestation in his house, which, I mean, let's be honest, nobody's surprised by that, are we? But what caught me off guard is the kind of infestation he had. He claimed that he had an infestation of spiders. I mean, the whole radiation max in, now the infestation of spiders. Is this guy, like, trying to conjure up some superpowers or something? I think the fluff dumpster is hoping to become some sort of evil Spider-Man, but instead of shooting webs, he shoots cheese, and he shoots it out of, uh... Someone said room. Yeah, um, the room got infested with spiders. We had a slight recluse infestation and I had to move out. It was a few years ago. Oh no, there's some settings on screen. Okay, they're gone. Um, Whoa. It's kind of dangerous in here. Uh, Yo, I've never even said the phrase before that, oh yeah, this room in my house is actually quite dangerous to be in. What room in any house should ever be deemed as dangerous? He's probably just taken a shit in the corner of the room somewhere as well and covered it up with trash. I love how he says it as well and just tries to pass it off as like a normal occurrence that you'd have in life. Oh yeah, you know, I used to have a spider infestation and this room is actually off limits to human beings because it's quite rather dangerous and just being in here is posing a threat to my life, but <laughs> happy days. I mean, 
mean, I don't know what to say about the fluff dumpster. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know if it's satire anymore. I don't know. I've changed my mind. I, I used to think it was. Now I'm confused. I see him break character. But then I see him being totally and utterly serious about stuff. Like him being afraid of water. That... That looked like a genuine fear. It's like the man's life was flashing before his eyes. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, comment down below, leave a like on the video, and check out my other videos also. If you enjoyed this one, I'm sure you'll enjoy these ones even more. So check them out, baby.